I'm back. Yeah, the ending, the uh, last, the bonus thing is a little more um, tiring than the rest of the game, I'm afraid. I had forgotten, and the hour-long thing is semi-inexcusable. It's missing its handle. Sorry, I'm burping a little bit. Um, kind of just waiting for my husband to sneak up on me because he's a cutie like that. Um, I'm probably gonna like grab my kittens later because they're cute and cuddly and they're kittens. They're cute and cuddly. <laughs> and my oldest, my Pete's sleeping right now. He's sleeping on my husband's chair. I'll keep, I'll cuddled up and adorable himself. He does that cat sleeping on his side thing, you know, when the cat's all curled up, but their head is like out and it looks like they're looking at something. He does that, and it's really adorable the way he does it. Yeah, I'm reduced to talking about my cats because this particular level is so boring, and I'd forgotten how boring it was. <sighs> it's been a while since I've played this. Um. Because apparently my character is an idiot and decided to walk into the Portal of Doom. I'm surprised you didn't end up in the paranormal world. That would have been more interesting, at least, but... It... <sighs> Maybe the paranormal energy's pissed you took the... And my husband is actually home. Yay! And apparently he... Hang on. Sorry about that. Um, trying to acclimate the kittens, finally. And uh, Butterball decided to be a little escapee. As in, you know, my husband's home, so I finally have extra eyes to help me. But for now, I have a fuzzy. I have my fuzzy next to me. Actually, in front of me, being my cat. Aww, little poof tail. He's a cutie. A little annoyed, though. He's like, I want to go back downstairs and bug daddy. <laughs> I keep hitting my mic. I'm very sorry. But, yeah. These little fuzzballs with me now. And hopefully he'll get used to it, and then we won't have to keep the um, door locked, because the older cats like to come up here and play with each other. Aww. There's the mug handle. You know what? I kept missing that, even though it's like right in front of my face. And Doctor Scale. The fuse, yay! Huh? Yeah, but I've also said just to flop. I think he's plotting like his revenge because I took him away from Daddy. Yeah, he likes my, uh, dad. Um, but he kind of drives him crazy, because he's so affectionate. And, you know, the only other cat we had that was as affectionate as him was a cat known as Bowser. and He drove dad crazy then, too. So this little guy is a very sweet kitty. Um, he's being very sweet to me right now. I'll go for something lemon flavored. I forgot to grab my bag of treats. Um. Yeah, I wonder if don't if Tic Tac's doing that whole um fruit flavor thing because they got rid of their cinnamon, which pisses me off because I love the cinnamon Tic Tacs. I guess like the only person who would buy them or something. I don't know, but they should bring them back. They can keep the cherry. The cherry is pretty good. Don't get me wrong, but. You know, they should bring back the cinnamon as well. Um, and they should make like a lemon and a lime flavored Tic Tacs, because those would be kind of nice. Along with the rest of their flavors. You know, they can have the new flavors, I just kind of... Oh. What did you do? Yes, 
sorry, thirsty. Yeah, little butterball decided to try to jump on my lap and flopped. Oh, little thing. We'll get like little stripes permanently up here next. It was more of a who we could grab first kind of deal. I kind of would have preferred to bring them both up at the same time and just like acclimated them. Aww, such a sweetie. Butterball is a very sweet little thing. I just keep him away from my skull candy headphones because he ate them. Yeah, this little cat ate my skull candies. <laughs> Very hungry kitten. <laughs> he's yeah, he's not like being mean or anything. He like he wants to like be downstairs. He prefers it, but he's being a very good kitten. And he's being very sweet. I think he's trying to like charm me into doing it like Let me out. I'm so cute. But they do like me, so I think it's more getting used to the other people that come up that are usually here, like you know my friends or Sergey. Um, because my husband's usually at work, they don't see him as much, so probably one of those things. And yeah, sorry about all the pauses. Well, my eyes got a break. There's one more thing hidden here, apparently. This is why I ran around and checked. Um. Why not just say x-ray? When I first saw that, I was literally, like, looking around for something I had to take the finger bones out of. I'm not even joking. Butterball's purring away in my arms. Oh, such a good kitten. I forgot what an ampoule was. Yeah, and for some reason they have a crocodile skull here. I don't know. Just go with it. I just realized the music is not going. Oh well, the music was getting a little annoying anyway. It's okay, Butterball. Yeah, Butterball's being my little friend, and he's kind of confused. Like, what is Mommy playing? He is a sweet kitty. Well, that's a monocle. I'm looking for an ampoule, whatever the fuck that is. I 
I really don't know what that is. I, I'm not even kidding. I don't know what an ampoule is. I know what a frog is. I know what a crystal spear is. Sphere. Spear. Spear is what you poke people with. I know what a medallion is. I just have to find the medallion. Thought so. Might have to hint just because I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> if you don't know what it is, you're not gonna find it. And I really don't wanna have to, like, yeah, we'll just hint. But we have to get rid of everything else first, or it's gonna. <laughs> and I still don't know what it is! Yes, apparently no. This just can't be a simple you win, you get out. They have to electrify it. They have to fucking electrify it. I just want this to end. Oh my goodness, this has been so long. Kill me. Kill me. Yeah, that was the hint button recharging because I used it. I actually shoulder to check that like wait is my thing up even though I know it's down. Uh... <sighs> my kitty is being a good little baby. Um, I kind of know what this is. The Mata Wajimakali Telescope. I th at least I think I know what. It yeah, that's what it is. It's. The telescope without the earpiece is basically. Where is the other part of the the slingshot? Yeah, you can do that thankfully. Um, let's clear out a little more of this so we can actually find it. Yeah, I'm more relaxed now. I have a kitty. I have a kitty, and you probably don't. You certainly don't have one as cute as Butterball. Little white, little yellow fluffy. His boy fluffy now. He's a yellow fluffy. He's got some white on him, but he is a yellow, yellow tabby fluffy cat. He's very sweet. And I guess he hears me moving my feet around. He's like, "What's that? What's that? What's that?" He's very curious. Who am I kidding? The freaking cats are curious. Again, I really want to look up what a knuckle dust. Why they're called knuckle dusters? Because they're brass knuckles. Well, okay, maybe not brass, because they're like silvery color. But you know what I mean. I've always heard that they're referred to as brass knuckles, not knuckle dusters. So let's figure out why they're called knuckle dusters. It's a very strange name. kitten. He's, he's purring away. He's quite happy. He's like, oh, attention, I'll take this. He's a very loving cat. He loves attention, pure and simple. Like, attention? You give me? I'll have to sleep soon anyway, because I have to get up. Um, I'm having too much fun with what I'm doing with the cat. Uh, let's see, we still haven't found the uh, V piece of wood for... Well, that might be actually be it. Yep, that's it. Yeah. Now we need a bookmark. Actually, I want a bookmark like that. Now can we turn this stupid thing on and go home?
press. I know I have the yellow right, it's... Butterball, you dippy little kitten. These two are kind of forced to have those things, so let's see. Yeah, I'm really stuck. So let's see, blue does this. You'll do blue first, so it's... Okay. So we know the red goes here, and this does a straight shot. So, no, it doesn't do that. It does that. So, no, it doesn't do that. Yeah, you can tell I'm kind of losing my marbles over this one now. Over the red, up, and okay. So.
about it. Yeah, I think I got this one now. Oh, thank goodness. Shoot me! I'm not even gonna try, I'm just gonna guide dang this one. At the very least to get an idea of where I'm going. So I really just have to worry about connecting all the reds. Okay, this is simpler than I thought. Wrong one. Okay, I am doing alright. Uh-oh, I'm not doing it right. Ah! I see why I'm guy danging this. Goodness. Can we leave now? The portal started working. I didn't know how long it was going to keep activated, so I decided to take the risk and leave this place as soon as possible. When I was leaving the castle, I still had a disquieting feeling that the story with Dr. Dagon was not over yet. This feeling chased me till I saw an evening newspaper on my table. Guess I already know where I'm going. Why is Dr. Avros reading our story? Well, okay, that is the official end of... Well, did we unlock anything interesting? No, we don't even get, like, art or anything. We get, like, the mini-games. There aren't that many mini-games. So, yeah, that's the end. I would have liked to see the concept art to these guys. See what they actually looked like before the game. Oh well. Yes. Because I never want to go through that again. Well, that's the end of the first Mystic Hospital. It's a good game, it's just the bonus material drove me up the bloody wall. They saved all the hardest puzzles for that, I think. Like, okay, they want to play the bonus adventure, they're going to earn the ending. And it actually gave you a preview to the next game, which we will get into next time. Bye!